Hi, David. Welcome to Florence for your first solo show in Seichi Gallery in Florence. So after Milan, Florence. What's about your experience in Florence? And is there a, a relationship between uh, your work and Florence? Uh, thank you, Pier Paolo. Um, I'm very happy to have the possibility to show my work here. And um, yeah, of course, um, uh, in my for for over more than 20 years, uh, perspective plays a certain role in my work. So I'm very happy to have the possibility to show my work in a city or in an area where especially central perspective played an important role in art and where it was invented. So um, I see for me there is a certain connection um, to, yeah, to Florence um, because all of the artists and uh, architects who worked with perspective and um, it's interesting for me to see my work here and have uh, also the possibility to, to go to a church or a museum where um, certain artworks that I admire are, are shown who, which deal um, with perspective. Yes, in fact, thinking to Florence, uh, uh, immediately we think to Renaissance art. Yeah. Can we say that there is a relationship between uh, Renaissance art uh, and the research on the perspective or something else uh, and your research? Yeah, um, uh, I'm interested in uh, uh, the changes of society who, that made um, yeah, the invention of perspective possible. And uh, also my work um, deals with certain uh, changes of society. For example, um, uh, the area around Leipzig, the city where I lived and where I studied, um, uh, changed a lot in the last 20 years um, because of certain changes. Um, and uh, these movements in, uh, in landscape, for example, uh, inspire me a lot or inspired me a lot. And um, uh, in the last years, I, um, yeah, I dealt more with architecture and um, uh, especially historic architecture and uh, the view uh, of the individual on architecture changed a lot, um, I think. So it's not a nostalgic way to, to paint architecture, but um, yeah, um, the, the way architecture or historic places are seen today and um, are reproduced inter interests me a lot. So these changes play also a certain role in, in my work. And last question, the, the space in Florence uh, give, give us the, the opportunity to see your big size artwork, for example, this one, very big size. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, the show in Florence means uh, big size artwork and uh, mm, other works, uh, but not big size. Uh, this, this is the difference between the show in Milan and the, the show in Florence, mm. the size of the artworks. Yeah, um, uh, of course, it's also because uh, the, the gallery space is a little bit bigger. Bigger. And um, yeah, um, these uh, large scale art, artworks of mine um, somehow try to open the space like if, even though they are uh, on canvas it's a little bit like a, like a work on the wall like a fresco and um, so uh, I really like the situation that the, the paintings even though they are normal um, uh, paintings on canvas somehow change the room and uh, the, the, um, the relation of the visitor to the space, so that's interesting for me. David, thank you very much. Thank you, Pepe Pablo. <laughs>